Hi, I just wanted to give you a look at how the hinge tool works in Panther. So the hinge is a cutter, so we come to the cutters library here. And uh, let me just select the bangle here first. And we'll come and run the hinge tool. And so what it does is we don't need uh, an open object to run the hinge tool. It can work on a closed object or, of course, you could use an object that has an opening already. But if your object is closed, the hinge tool works out and places a hinge on one side and, and places a cut uh, on the other side. Okay. So just to explain how this tool works, the uh, hinge position is set here at zero. So I can move that around different degrees and also the opening position, you can move that. The wire diameter here is pretty logical. I'll just change that to 0.8 for this exercise. The number of males refers to actually the uh, total number of males in the bangle. So in this case, we've got one down the center and two on the side, so three males. But uh, it's easier to see that when the object's open. So you can specify an open angle here. So if we wanted to open this, let's say 45 degrees, type in minus 45 to open it outwards. And you can see here, as I say, there's well, three males, one on the bottom section of the bangle and two on the top section. So I can change this quite easily. Let's make it five. And now we've got two on the bottom and three on the top section. So easy to see that when we separate it out later on. But you can, as I say, move the location of the hinge. It's quite easy. So the hinge position refers to the location of the hinge. So for instance, if we wanted to move this, let's say down 30 degrees, You can see it's moved from the position here down 30 degrees and my opening is still in the same position but again I can move the position of the opening as well so let's just do this with this closed up because it's easier to see what's going on but you can see my hinge position there here and you can see my opening position is here. So if I change this, let's say move it 45, let's say. You can see that's now my new opening position. My hinge is here. So let's set the opening angle here, minus 30, let's say. Not enough of an opening, but just to point out the new opening position and the new hinge position. So. In the hinge tool, you can move, as I said, the hinge position anywhere around the object and also the opening to where you'd like that. One important thing is that it actually leaves the hinge centered on your object. So, uh, you know, when you're making a hinge by hand, you know that, that you need to try and center that and center the, the wire uh, through the hinge. Okay, let's just, I'll change this uh, opening angle back to zero. And let's click out of this tool to validate it. I'll just delete the original surface here. And this object is grouped, so I can just ungroup it. And just to show you the pin and everything here. So there's a pin here. I'll just move that out. And this hinge has got uh, five males, so two on the bottom and three on the top ready for manufacturing. Okay, that's just a quick look at the hinge tool in Panther. Alright, bye for now.